friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Yoshida and this is Norris Co. You guys, I hope the lighting is okay. I'll keep double checking. Um, today, I wanted to do a flip of my mini happy planner. Um, I fell down this rabbit hole. Um, I really didn't have any intentions on making a new planner, but I wanted a change. I was going to order an A5. But during the pandemic, I just didn't think that was just uh, wise to do. So I'm going to jump right in. I'll start first. Um, pretty much everything in this planner I made myself from what I had here around the house. Um, just taking some images off of Pinterest only because I don't plan to um, redistribute them and like for sale. And then here is an Ollie clip and I made my dashboard from the chopping mats from the Dollar Tree and I have it on the matte side and this is the shiny side but I like the matte and I just used my Happy Planner hole punch to do so. I did a flip on my Instagram but I wanted this kind of be a little more thorough um, here in my YouTube. Over here are Happy Planner discs. I have some um, tortoise shells um, this coming, but it looks like they've been rerouted or something. So um, I just wanted to just go ahead and do the flip and get it out the way. So, and then um, this is printed on vellum, some thick vellum. I got the image off of Pinterest. I believe my Pinterest is listed below, but if not, I'll make sure that I add it below so that you all can check out uh, most of the images that I have. I saved some of them there some of them I just saved from my phone this I printed on acetate um, also from Pinterest I made my own uh, dividers and um, what is this it'll come to me Pinterest and then I made this inbox um, dashboard that's what it is dashboard myself from um, Canva on Canva uh, these are from cloth and paper. I'm considering putting these in the shop. So I'm kind of testing them out just to see how I like them. Um, I just tend to do that from time to time. Um, that way I make sure that it'll be something that would get used or purchased. Um, this cloth and paper page flag um, is Mocha. These little paper clips, I see some shops sell them, but I just give them free with orders. Um, if it's something that you would like to be sold, just let me know because I have, this is how they come. And I have a couple of boxes of those. And these adhesive uh, pockets, excuse me, this one came from Michael's. It was like a long one and I just cut it and it was in an old happy planner and I just re-stuck um, it here. And this is some journaling cards that I was going to offer. And I didn't want to offer it first because I was waiting on thicker cardstock paper. I just felt like it needed to be on a thicker cardstock. But then I ordered a journaling card and it came on about the same weight of paper. And I said, you know what, let me just offer it. So I'll be putting these in the Etsy shop. This one says, how you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. Rupa Kaur, I believe that's how you say it. I will jack up a word, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, and then here's another journaling card that I had made. Be kind and full of love, but have boundaries like a... Okay, for those who don't want the person. And then this um, adhesive pocket I made myself using laminating paper. And I just ordered some more. Now, this dashboard um, I, I made myself as well. Just a little layout. And these are things that inspire me. Um, I have made a, you'll see in here, I made a dashboard that I have expensive taste on a beer budget, champagne taste on a beer budget, but this is luxury to me. There are some free of these going around and I like them, but I wanted to make something that kind of just spoke to me. And this is my inbox section. So these are just some ideas I have for the shop, front and back. Um, and then planning ideas that I want to do for the channel here. And these are Corneal Notes. Uh, these inserts are by Simply Trendy Co. Also, if I didn't mention, this planner is my extension planner. And then I have these calendars that I got from 
I think these were Peanuts Planner Co. Or I think it's a uh, Peanuts Planner Co. What I'm doing here, I decided to use, I got, I made, excuse me, I'm just all tongue tied. I made a couple of copies because um, with this one, I'm going to be tracking how many days off I've been off from work and um, just tracking them so that I'll know like for unemployment purposes and just, you know, kind of, this is my way of trying to uh, tracking the COVID-19. And then back here, I'll just list some other stuff. And these are some note pages from Peanuts Planner Co. But the only thing that someone else pointed this out, Peanuts Planner Co. pages for the Happy Planner are a little shorter than like uh, say these from Simply Trendy Co. Okay, and the next is my calendar. And um, this journaling card I got from Sequence and Plan, something like that. And so I just have it stuck here. Dividers, that's what these are called, dividers. I made the dividers myself. And so this is from Peanuts Planner Co. It's um, their monthlies. I wanted to try different monthly and this one, somewhere where I could write notes and things like that. And I actually don't need January, but I kind of not necessarily have to have it here, but that first page for just like for the year's overview of um, plans and so I just kind of put this together so there's not a lot going on in here but just to kind of show you guys my little idea of what I want it to be and then on the back here is a fold out um I used it kind of like for tracking bills but I think I'm going to use it for something else I haven't quite decided so right now it's just bills on there and then this is my weekly and this habit tracker is from Collective Paper. Now, this insert is from Simply Trendy Co. I love it. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I'm, I'm not going to say I didn't think I was going to like it. But I wanted to try to kind of pre-plan um, in a different way. And listing things, I'm a lister. So this kind of worked for me. And it's just simple, not a lot of fluff going on here. But um, I kind of like this. Well, I like this a lot. It's one of my new favorite um, weekly inserts. And so this is for next week. I've kind of already started a little bit because I was so excited about the insert. And then, y'all, I know. Y'all can say, why do you have so many weeklies? <laughs> I don't know. I just like weeklies. I don't know. So I'm testing. I was testing that one and this one out. And this one was going to be for pre-planning. Then I said, oh, this could be for affirmations. This could be for something else. But as you can see, I don't have anything wrote in a lot. So I'm not saying that I don't like it. Um, I'm just really more in love with this one at the moment. So I don't know. I probably, want, probably won't use this one again. <clears throat> I don't know. But I have plenty of them. So I'm going to find use for it. But um, I could use it to track you know, something else. But right now I'm just kind of playing with it. So that's why it's a little bare. It's this week that I'm currently in, but I'm just like, mm, what am I gonna use it for? But I really like this one for pre-planning. So that's that. And I put a lot in here just to kind of thicken her up a little bit. And then I decided I wanted to kind of, I love minimal planning, but um, every now and then I want just a little bit of sticker fix. So I decided to get these from Peanuts Planner Co. to do a little journaling. And so I've been doing a little journaling and this is my week for this week. So I journal pretty much at the end of the night. Um, sometimes I'll do my affirmation at the beginning of the day, but that way I could just kind of play with a little color and make it look a little, you know, cutesy, I guess. So here's another divider and another journaling card. So I'm gonna figure out how to like put it so that you can download it and then um, also make them available for sale in the shop. If you're interested, let me know. And I just have them on with some washi tape. And this is my daily. And then I also did this, my name on Canva, put it on some thick vellum. Um, I got this design off of Pinterest put it on some thick vellum and this little journaling card came I think I got it from Joann's but I think it was like in a happy planner journaling card set or something 
and it was in my old mini HP. So I just added it here. And it says, when you love what you have, you have everything you need. And I just thought that was perfect um, during this kind of time that we're going through because for me, I'm realizing that um, I don't need a lot, not as much as I thought I did. And so this today divider I made again from that chopping board. Um, I just had some left over, so I flipped it to the shiny side so that maybe I could take a dry erase board right over it or add something to it. And then I took my um, labeler and then put today. And then here's another um, dashboard that I made on not Canva, well I did use Canva for the measurements, but I made it on um, photo grid. And then I just put it through Canva to get like the exact measurements to cut it. And even on um, photo grid, it'll uh, give you the measurements. Um, if you know your measurements, or at least you'll be close and then you can just cut it. But I like to put it through Canva. And then here are some dailies. These are from Simply Trendy Co. I try to remember to leave her information in the description bar below. And I love this daily too. I'm gonna show you the dailies that I was using. I was using these by Pants Planner Co. And I was like in love with using it. And I still like them, but this one has definitely minimized my plans and just made everything more functional for me um, for things that I have to do. So this is the first day I tried it out and I was like, okay, I like that. And then, so as you can see, I have bipolar handwriting. So I like to try different handwriting. So I wanted to see which one I thought would look good with these um, pages. And this is my regular, like everyday handwriting. This one is my want to be fancy. And then this one is me trying to write neat, which doesn't turn out right, but these are dailies from Simply Planner Co. And I Simply Trendy Co. I keep saying Simply Planner. Simply Trendy Co. And this is today. And I love this one. I have some things I got to mark off. But yeah, I'm just still keeping it kind of light and minimal. And I'm, I'm loving these too. So I'm I'm going to go back and get some more stuff. And I think I might get some for my um, Motar, my personal. So those are dailies. And again, I added these because just in case, sometimes I'm just planning daily and I get to the bottom like, oh, dang, I gotta go print some more or get some more. So I just stuck these in here for backup. And then next we have notes. And then again, I printed this um, on vellum from Pinterest. And then here's a dashboard that I made. I have champagne taste on a beer budget and I printed this on a little thinner vellum that I had laying around and the design came from Pinterest. Another Pinterest design and vellum. And then here are some more Cornell notes because this should be the note section, yeah. And I just have a lot of that. And then I have some more of those pages that I'm using to journal and they're just extra. And I'm thinking about writing something else on here because I like them kind of plain so I can make them into dailies, weeklies, or whatever I want. So journaling, so they're just extra. And then here's a journaling card that I had from the Happy Planner that was in my old mini. Um, and I just stuck it back in here. And then this pocket, I don't know where it came from, but obviously, um, I didn't make this one because it's um, got the little scoop here. But then I have these from Cloth and Paper. And this is Sorbet. 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 And then this is Liche. And then here are some more stickers I'm testing out, which I haven't quite used, but I want to test out before I put them in the shop. So if I, maybe if I put them up front, I'll see them and use them. But I do know they're in here. And then here's a Happy Planner um, sticky note. And I just stuck it in there. And these are from my shop as well. And they're just in there for functionality in case I want to use them. And then on cardstock, I printed this from Pinterest, front and back. And I love leopard. I have another pair, a dashboard like this with leopard feels. Another Ollie clip and another divider, which says miscellaneous. And then I took one of my um, journaling cards and put it on photo paper and just printed it out with that same Chanel sign from the front. 
And then here are those uh, year at a glance papers, um, excuse me, calendars. And so I just made a couple of them so I can put them where needed. And then another vellum dashboard that I got from um, Pinterest. And then here's my task management pages. I love these by Peanuts Planner Co. And <clears throat> this is for zone cleaning. And I already have my zone cleaning down in my other planner in my personal. But this is just sometimes it's something about writing down. Writing it down, it's like, okay, you can remember or you know what to do. So I went ahead and put down my declutter because I'm using this one as a declutter too, as a, as a breakdown for the things that I want to declutter. And then that way also I can remember. <laughs> so I started writing the word. And I said, let me just go ahead and start writing some things so I can remember because there's so many ideas I kind of have for these task managers. You can use it for your working out, weight loss, um, meals, all that good stuff. And I think that's it. And then I have this from Thrive on Plans. Um, it's a budget insert. I don't know why I bought this because I have so much budgeting stuff, even stuff I, you know, make. But I think this was like one of my first purchases for this planner. And I just wanted to try it out because even though I can make my own budget inserts, uh, sometimes I just want to see if somebody just, I just pray somebody has something that'll be useful for me as a stylist. And then now with the pandemic and me filing unemployment, um, I may be getting a check. So I'm gonna see, I'm curious to see how that's gonna work me planning a check and I'm kind of excited about it actually, instead of uh, planning with uh, for cash. And then I have some extra note paper here. And then I printed this from Pinterest on some acetate. And I just love the way this prints. I just do because it's like you have both sides. They're both clear. It's not like um, vellum where one side is frosty and clear and the other side you can barely see. But I like this. And so I want that to be, excuse me, this one. And I want that to be on the back so that you can see. And with that note paper as a backdrop. And again, this is from... The chopping, the chopping mat. So I turned to the inside, be um, the shiny side, and then the mat. And I see um, a lot of people have the clear um, dashboards or what have you from cloth and paper. And I thought about getting it, but I like the mat look, and I just like um, that it didn't cost me anything. Now, like I said, I could just take this out if I wanted to turn it to the shiny side and make it shiny. And make it a glass dashboard. I can do that. But I like the matte side. Either way, it's pretty. So if you'd like to see how I did that, I'm, I think I probably have a video on my channel somewhere of me doing, um, making dashboards. Anytime I set up a planner, a lot of times I do it myself. So that's that. She's pretty thick. I like her. Again, this is my extension planner. But what I've been doing... Um, for the past couple of days is trying to plan in her and not plan in my personal to see how um, it will work for me on an everyday basis. I really still think I could take it. It's a little bulkier, not bulkier, but a little wider than my personal, which I like because it gives me just a, a about another, maybe I think with my personal, to cut, so maybe like another half an inch to an inch worth the room to write. So I've just been planning in here. I still check in my personal because that is my everyday carry, but just having an extension of what I already have really works. So I just want to kind of come in here more often just to see how it would work for me and give my personal maybe a little break since I don't have anywhere to go now. I can just, you know, and this gave me like a project to do to like work on. I was fussing at first like, oh, I didn't want to do it. But um, I'm so glad I did because it just kind of gave me something to do. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I wasn't too long-winded. Uh, let me know in the comment sections if you have a mini happy planner. Um, have you done anything with it? Any setting up? And just basically, what are you planning in now since we have the pandemic? All right, I'll talk to you guys later. You have a great day. And don't forget, if you're new here, you enjoy today's content, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.